everyone. So how many of you have the problem with your walk-in closet? You walk into it, if you can actually walk into it, and you go, what do I wear? You have a number of different things, uh, places you want to go, things you want to do, but you just don't know what to wear. And I'm a very busy lady, as I'm sure most of you are. That is Annie in the background there. And I don't have time to fuss with this. I walk into Nordstrom, the actual Nordstrom store, and I want to buy what is on the mannequin because I don't have time to think about it. I made the mistake of going into Nordstrom Rack, and I thought, I'm going to try this because everybody tells me. Well, that was a nightmare, and then I ran into Annie, and I said, Annie, you got to help me. So Annie, I got her to come over to the house, and she was a little nervous, I'm sure, but Annie is a total godsend to me right now. And so when she came to the house, what was the first thing, Annie, when you walked into the closet that you that you noticed about my style and what it is that I needed? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I walked in your closet is that it was really cluttered. And um, that's the biggest problem that I see with most people with their closets is that it's so jam packed with clothes and all of the hangers are mismatched. So it's really hard to see what you have. And so you get overwhelmed and you tend to just go out and buy again. And often you end up buying the same thing or you just buy pieces and you're not putting together complete outfits. So the process that I do with my clients and what I did with Jackie is the first thing I did, as you can see, I've taken everything out of her closet. Let's walk in the closet, Jackie, and I'll show you that it's empty. I'm gonna I'll let you add, people let in my closet because it's actually empty it's now. It's empty, there's a few things in there that we've put back, but that's the first step. And you can tell that I actually had intentions of making it organized because I had a closet organizer come in here. So after I pulled everything out, I clean it, it's empty, let's get it dusted clean the dust, vacuum the floor, we did all that. And then I pull everything out and we do the edit. So I go through and when I was going through, that's when I can really see what she has and what she needs. And um, the first thing I saw was that everything seemed to be black and white. There was very little color and also very casual. She was really lacking in what I call upscale casual, which is those outfits for when you wanna go out to dinner, for a date or with your girlfriends. And um, so I saw that was definitely something that was needed in her wardrobe. But the first thing to do was that edit to just get rid of the stuff that she either has too much of or it's out of date or it's old, etc. So uh, I did that with Jackie and uh, I let her take a look at everything that uh, I suggest that she gets rid of. And we had a very, she was really good. We just had a few things that she wanted to keep and that was fine. And so now the next step, as you can see, is I hang everything on the same matching hanger and these are the, the thin hangers and these are the ones I love because it just, when it's all matching and organized like this, you're going to have more incentive to stay organized so that when I'm gone, you will be able to maintain what I do. And you can see this is what it was like before. A lot of these mismatched hangers. And I get a lot of free stuff mountain biking. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... So anyhow, so that's where we are right now. And so the next phase is that I'm gonna get everything put back in the closet and uh, and then we're gonna go shopping. We're gonna go shopping. And we're gonna get some. Actually, I don't have to go shopping. She's gonna I go do shopping, shopping for her and then we bring it here. Because what is my style? You have to, we have to kind of say, cause I thought I was a certain style, but then she okay, said no. Okay, so when Jackie told me, she said she wants to be, her, her idea was Stevie Nicks. But Stevie Nicks, Jackie has a great body. And so, you know, she really wants to show that great body. And she's I just more... love Annie. <laughs> she looks good in more fitted clothes. And so when I when she told me Stevie Nicks, I just didn't resonate with me. I think it's her spirit is Stevie Nicks, but the clothes are too drapey. And so um, when I went through my whole process and my thought process with Jackie, she shared. And, and the beat here. goes on. And so when I told Jackie that, I think the light bulb went off. And, you know, it's, uh, she's confident. She rides a motorcycle. She has tattoos. I mean, it, the list could go on. But there's, um, and she's a strong woman. And uh, so that's our inspiration for Jackie. And um, so we'll do another uh, video after we do our fitting. And you'll see the finished product. Um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I am so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> Thank you, Annie. Thank you. Stay tuned for part two.